I'm serious. Bo, you're fired. Dorian, you can't do that. Oh, but I have to. Commissioner Buchanan, I insist you hand over your badge right now. Saying about this party being dull? Bo, I still don't have that badge. This is ridiculous, Dorian. He's not going to hand over his badge. Don't hand over your badge. Fine, you can hand it over tomorrow morning to Internal Affairs. Let this serve notice to all of those working under me. I intend to run a squeaky clean administration. And if the police commissioner shows such appalling personal judgment that he has an affair with the district attorney who happens to be married to his brother, then how can he be trusted with official police business? This is not the time or place. Commissioner Buchanan, are these allegations true? Are you having an affair with I your brother's wife? I said plan? no comment. Mr. Buchanan, do you think your brother should be fired because of his affair with your wife? Well, all I can say is actions have consequences. Who do you have in mind to replace Commissioner Buchanan? I have just made the very difficult decision to replace Commissioner Buchanan. So I have not come up with a successor yet, but I can assure you that the vetting process will be thorough, and that's all I have to say on the matter. Uh, except to add, have a very happy and healthy New Year, everyone, and enjoy what is left of the party. no right to do this to you. When did she ever care about a right or wrong? Come on, let's get out of here. We can't do anything about it tonight. Oh, I beg to differ. I really need to talk to the two of you. Whatever you need, just name it. I owe you. Me too. Thank you. Okay, this is a clear cut case of wrongful termination, and obviously I can't do anything about it. Will the two of you look into this? Yes. Absolutely. We will do what we can. Oh, excuse me. Oh, um, one second, please. Thank you. Of Get a complete statement at my next press conference. I'm going to talk to oh, Dorian. Oh, come on. Well, I guess you're unemployed again. Last time you got fired, you went back to work at BE, but that door is now closed to you. I control the board, and we're just not doing any hiring at the moment. But you could drop off your resume anytime. I'll keep it on file. All you need is spurs, Clint. Otherwise, you're doing everything exactly the way Pa would do it, right down in here. Young lady friend. Is that what makes you happy now? Not happy. Not fine. I'm great. Kimberly, would you care to dance? I'd love to. Doing this, Dorian. Really, is it because Clint left you and started seeing me? Nora, dear, that high horse you're trying to mount just bucked you off. No, if you want to hurt me, then fine, go ahead and do it, but don't do this to Bo. Or are you just so hell bent on revenge you don't care who you hurt? <laughs> How can you talk about me hurting Bo? I mean, you cheated on the man when you were married to him. And you stole Clint away from me, and then you cheated on him once you were married to, to him. For goodness sake, your behavior compared to Bo's makes his behavior look, look angelic. At least he was single. You are very, very lucky that you're an elected official, or else I would have fired you too. And if you had any decency at all, you'd resign. I'll say it again. No comment. D.A. Buchanan, when did the affair start? Was it really the night before you married the commissioner's brother? Okay, I have no comment either, except to say this. This is a democracy, not a monarchy. Dorian Lord is the mayor. She's not the queen. And before she beheads Commissioner Buchanan, she's going to have to answer to the wrath of the people of Landview. Thank you for sticking up for me tonight. Dorian does not get the last word on who you are or what you have done for this community. I just hated to hear all that garbage she was spewing about you. I'm so sorry, Bo. I have cost you your brother and now your job. Oh, I love my brother. 
and I love my job, but the only two things that really matter to me are you and Matthew. And if I have you two, I can handle anything. Back at you. I should probably go back to my room now. Why? Ooh. Hey, we don't have to be discreet anymore, and it's almost New Year's, so, uh, want to ring in the New Year together? Hmm? How are you holding up? Oh, I'm fine. I want to, uh, thank you for all your help. That's what executive assistants are for. Oh. You've gone above and beyond the definition of executive assistant. I don't mind going above and beyond for something I really care about. Mitch, it's done. Bow's out. Everybody, the moment you've been waiting for is almost here! <laughs> Grab your guy, your girl, your noisemaker, your glow stick. Grab a hold of something and hold on. Is it always going to be like this? Always. Starting this new year out with a whole lot of troubles. And there's no one in the world that I would rather be starting it with.